Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey G97 and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be again using the Jaguar XJR9 at, this time around, the mall. Uh, the last episode I did cover using this car, I used it for our updated Sardina run. As you guys did, didn't see the last episode, it's been over nearly a year since I've done that car at Sardina, so I thought the last episode would be a good time for a refresh setup. And this is going to be the first time using this car at the mall, so hopefully you guys in fact, enjoy the episode, which I think you will. But without no further ado, let's get straight to the episode. So, in order to find the car, it is right now at the Duchess Car Dealership. Now, this is footage from the last episode. Uh, so, it's still brandly new over there at the Legendary Car Dealership. So, I really recommend you guys going ahead and get that car while it's still here. As you guys can see, the price of the car is, in fact, 3 million credits. Uh, so, basically, you can either sell a lot of cars or just turn in your roulette tickets, get some credits off of that, or just do some grinding until you hit 3, 3 million credits. Uh, the size overall is really good uh, for this car, very legendary car indeed as well, and basically that's how you get the car um, at the Legends Car Dealership. Now if you guys would like to use the similar I'm using for this race, if you guys want to follow me in the game, here's my profile in GT7, just ha search my uh, GT7 profile, you should easily find me pretty quickly. I have an under my activities, so in case you guys do follow me, I do have an under my activities. Um, but if you do not follow me in the game, then there are the top keyword searches you can see in the top screen. I actually don't like this variant. Um, it looks a little bit different, uh, but it looks really good on the car. A different shade of purple. You have that stripe, or the white and yellow stripe on the middle of the car. Um, now, delivery doesn't really matter in my opinion, but if you want to change it, change it up and get a different delivery, you can do that. So here's a setup I'll be using for Lamar. This is actually about the same uh, setup I used in my last episode, but the main difference is we're going to be using racing hards as our tire compound suspension and our uh, differential is going to be just the same it was from our previous episode. Uh, downforce is going to be the same as well. Uh, 500 on the front, uh, 600 for the rear. Those are very important key numbers that you have that on the car. For our output adjustment, we're going to have the controller computer computer. Set your output to 75. After that, make sure you have ballast on the car as well to set to 100. Make sure you put negative 1 uh, on the front of the car for the ballast positioning. And then 73 for the power restrictor. Fully customized manual transmission at 370. And steering angle kit is optional, even though I do recommend getting it on the car as well. Um, and then last but not least, the control, the brake controller itself, you'll have it at negative 2. Uh, and that's going to be it uh, for this app. So mainly just adjust the downforce and just nerf the overall horsepower, add weight to the car, and you'll be good to go. As you guys can see, the car is very quick um, in this race. We're a grade one, we're racing against grade four cars, and of course every category you can think of will really much have the hot, the huge advantage over the rest of the field, especially fuel. Um, you guys may not see it. Uh, but our fuel tank, we got at least over four laps of fuel left in the car, so the fuel mileage is crazy good. I mean, all the Group C's have crazy good fuel mileage in the game. But as you can see, uh, within less than a minute, we'll be within the top ten, pretty much close to the top five, or in the top five, uh, right when it minutes up. But you can see the handling's really good. The speed itself's really good too. Um, you should cap right around the low 180s, or right at 180 miles per hour, which is good enough to actually be able to easily, uh, you know, have the speed advantage over the rest of the AI. But anyway, um, the car, like I said, it just drove really, really good. I really enjoyed driving it. But you'll see here, once we pass the Supra, we can really send the car deep in the corner. You can see how much further in the corner we actually can see send, send the car deep in the breaking point, uh, which is also nice too. I, I'm pretty much sure why everyone likes to do the Grape Ones cars at Le Mans, and I can see why that's the case, or the Escudo. Um, it's just a whole different animal that you're driving um, a very nerfed grade 1 race car, but you still have the speed advantage, the acceleration advantage, and most importantly, the handling braking. Uh, we're actually going to make a nice three wide pass on the Corvette and the Suzuki Swift. Moving us to P2, and then we're right behind the Viper. We're going to make a move on the outside because we know we can because the car is really good. The car sticks just like better on a hot frying pan, and we're going to move ourselves to P1. Uh, right as we're about to end 
the Mislin straight. But yeah, like I said, this car is really, really good. Now, speed-wise, is it just as good as the R92 CP or the 787B? I don't really think it is. I'm pretty sure both those cars are faster than this, but just the way it drove, it just feels, you know, on edge. It just feels really comfortable. You can really allow yourself to really push really hard in the car. So what I'm going to do here is let you see this hot lap, which is going to be lap two, which is going to be our fastest lap of the race. We actually did put some pretty decently good laps in the race. Um, but I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this drive by, this onboard shot with this car. Just get that surreal feel uh, in the cockpit cam. So I'll see you guys when we get uh, to our pit strategy. So here we are at lap number five. Yeah, we were able to go very, very long without pitting. Uh, like I said, the fuel was crazy good. Uh, now you did see that our lap times on lap three and four was a good bit drop off from lap two. Uh, that's because we had our usual uh, on key rain shower. Now thankfully the rain itself wasn't hard enough where we actually had to go in the pit road. 
the water bar did actually fill about halfway through, which pretty much would have told you this was the best time to switch intermediates. But since the car felt so good, and since I still had traction in the car, the tires felt really good. Um, it just felt kind of hard to steer, it felt tight. Um, but saving us from making a pit stop, knowing that the track will dry up again, uh, I decided to stay out as long as I possibly could, which was lot five. So. Yeah, really crazy good fuel strat uh, saving uh, with the car. So mainly here is going to actually add fuel. The tires, as you guys can see, is in excellent condition. There's hardly any wear whatsoever. And we're going to fill up just enough passing three laps. I'm not going to fill it up all the way up uh, because we're actually running low on time. We don't have enough time to run three laps. Uh, and that's going to be it uh, for our only pit stop at the race. So fast forward to lap, last lap, lap eight. Um, had just enough fuel to finish off the race. You can see the track's nice and dry with a, with a wonderful uh, late evening sunset, or about to be the evening time. Uh, but yeah, this car was really, really, really strong. Uh, we were able to lap the whole entire field once. Um, and yeah, this car, like I said, was really good. You can see we did a pretty good lap time on lap seven. And on, on this last lap, we actually almost beat our personal best lap, lap two. Uh, but came just a little bit short. Other than that, the car was a little dominant. It drove really good the whole entire race. So I really recommend you guys getting this car and just trying it out for yourself. As you can see, pretty much dominated the race. Uh, was able to put the whole field to lap down. We, we did a lap time of 357.7 on lap two. Um, so yeah, like I said, the car was really good. Kept the car clean. Uh, didn't wreck anybody or hit anyone hard enough to make damage now if you guys can see if you guys want to follow me on other social media platforms i do have a reddit page and a, a tiktok account as well where i show all kinds of hot laps and all kinds of racing scenes as well and as you guys can see again we actually hit uh the, the max credits and then hopefully after you guys get this race done you'll be like this character right here walking to the bank with all hands on those bills um, and hopefully this will help you out in your uh, grinds that you use for Le Mans. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Hopefully this build will be a help to you at Le Mans. Or if you're looking for a different car to use to farm or grind, hopefully this car will be a good choice for you. I think it will really be a good choice uh, just seeing how strong it was on the straights. Um, the handling was really good. The braking was really good. I mean this car was just really smooth. Um, overall in the race. Not to mention the crazy good free mileage uh, not being able to pit to lot 5. But I'm pretty sure that's what most Group C cars do anyway. Um, if you have a dry condition, you probably should be able to last 5 laps. Or if you want to, you can just always go to map 6 and just save crazy, crazy amounts of fuel. Um, but yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys in fact enjoyed the episode, why not leave a like on this video? This would be highly appreciated. Um, hopefully this build of course will be a big up to you and if someone is struggling or would like to find a different way around the mall using a different car uh, then you're more welcome to share this video if you want to and if you guys really want to support the channel uh, why not go ahead and hit the subscribe button turn on that bell on for notifications so that way whenever I drop a new video you guys will not be able to miss it and if you guys would like to check out the last episode I covered using this car but at uh, Sardina, you can click on the video right there. Hopefully that build will be a big up to you too as well. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day or night, whatever it might be. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.